An image map is simply an image with clickable areas, with each area being a link to something, such as a web page, a file, or an email address. Image maps are normally found on web pages. However, there's nothing to stop you creating an image map in Excel. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to place an image into a worksheet and make a couple of areas of the image clickable. So when someone clicks on those areas, it takes them to a specific cell on a different worksheet. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the practice file and the image from the link in the description below. The first step is to insert the map. So I'll click on insert, pictures, place over cells, picture from file. Then I'll navigate to my desktop, which is where my file is, open up this Excel image map folder and select the file Excel image map SVG and click insert. I'm then going to make the image larger. And I'm also going to turn the grid lines off because they're distracting a bit. So I'll go to view and untick grid lines. In this file, I have a sheet called Australia. I want the user to be able to click on Australia on the map and jump to that sheet. But rather than jumping to the last active cell, I want it to jump to A1. So I'm going to assign the name Australia to A1 on the Australia sheet by selecting A1, clicking in the name box and typing Australia. Then go back to the map sheet and I'm going to draw a rectangle around Australia by clicking on insert shapes and choosing this rectangle here. And then, as I say, draw a rectangle around Australia. And if I miss a little bit, I can just resize the shape. I'm going to set the fill to no fill by going up to shape format, shape fill, and selecting no fill. And I'm going to leave the border there for a minute because if I remove it, I won't be able to click the shape to select it. So with the shape selected, I'll go up to insert and select link. I'll then click on this document, scroll down and expand the defined names section and choose Australia. So that's the name that I created that is associated with cell A1 on the Australia sheet and click OK. Then I can remove that border. So I'll right click on the edge of the shape and select Format Shape. Then open up the Line section and set it to No Line. I'll then close this Format Shape dialog box. And if I click away from that shape, you can see that the border's gone. So now if I hover over Australia, I'm actually hovering over the shape because the shape is on top of the uh, image. But you can see the mouse pointer is a hand. And if I click it, it takes me to A1 on the Australia sheet. Now, what if I wanted to be more precise with the selection? What if I wanted to select a specific country within Europe, for example, or a specific state within the US? Obviously, with this map, I'd need to know my geography. But I do know that this area here is Alaska. So I'm going to draw around that and I'm going to link it to A1 on the USA sheet. So I'll start by naming A1 on the USA sheet as Alaska. I've selected A1. I'll click in the name box and I'll type Alaska and press enter. Then I'll go back to the map sheet and click on insert, go to shapes, and I want to select the scribble tool, which is also known as the freeform tool. So I'll click on it, it's that one there. And then I will draw around, and I won't be that precise, but I'm going to draw around the area around Alaska, which is, as you can see up here, top left-hand corner of the USA. By default, the selection has no fill, so there's no need to change that. But I do need to set the link up. 
So I'll click on Insert, Link, scroll down to Defined Names, open up that section, and select Alaska, and click OK. And then to remove the border, right click on the shape. You can see there is a square, a rectangle, but that's not the actual shape. So I can right click on it and select Format Shape. Go to the line section, which is already open from last time. Click on No Line and close that dialog box. And then if I click away from that shape, you can see that the black border that we had a minute ago has gone. So to test that out, I'll hover over the shape. I think I'm hovering over Alaska, but I'm actually hovering over the shape and click. And it takes me to the cell called Alaska. And then it's a case of rinse and repeat for each country or region. Finally, I want to add a tool tip to each shape so that when the user hovers their mouse over the shape, a small text box pops up on the screen next to the cursor. And I'll do it on Australia. So if I right click on the shape, it brings up the uh, menu. I'll click on Edit Link and click Screen Tip and then type Australia because that's what I want the user to see when they hover their mouse over that shape. Click OK and OK again. And then I'll click away from the shape to deselect it, hover over the shape again, and nothing happens. Because at the time of recording, this feature is broken. You can set it up, but if you hover over a shape, I was expecting a little box to pop up that said Australia, but nothing happens. And that's it. That's how to create an interactive clickable image map in Excel. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As we wrap up 2024, this will be my final video of the year. I'm taking a couple of weeks off to recharge and get ready for an exciting 2025. Before I sign off, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's watched, liked, and commented on my videos. I'd like to wish everybody a wonderful Christmas, Hanukkah, or holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Until January, have an excellent day.